cold out here. And it's not even completely winter yet. I thought RV stood for recreational vehicle. No, ruins vacations. As the dad, I'm now the pack mule that brings it in and the jackass that packs it out of there. Okay, today's shenanigans include, uh, I'm gonna empty the black tank on this thing somewhere other than here. Because, <laughs> yeah, bad idea. Shitter was full! Uh, then I'm gonna fill up the fuel tank for the generator, but that requires me to basically hook the excursion up and get it ready to tow. So, let me get that done first. Now this is what I see in the backup camera. <laughs> this ought to be fun. Oh, oh, oh. Go check it out. Uh, I need to go forward a little bit and to the right. So let's go try that. Oh shit, too much. Not a foot. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Looky. Right there. Now. Don't move. Yeah. That's out. I'm a little worried my ground's kind of soft. It did rain pretty hard last uh, last night. So, but uh, it held up pulling it out, so it should be okay going back in. I mean, come on, isn't that a rad setup? I mean, except for the squat. You know, the, the, I, I gotta adjust and play around with the hitch and get everything nice and level still. But uh, that'll be another day before the next camping season. But yeah, whew, sweet setup. Okay, so we are at the dump site. It's a nice, nice little place we got here, actually. So real quick, I'll just give you the dime tour. You know, there's the garage area. There's two beds up here. And this, this bottom one, it comes all the way down. It'll turn into like a couch. And then this top bed, you can lower down. It comes to about here, which is pretty cool. And then this is like a, a bench seat that also turns into a bed. And we got these awesome little chairs here and table and then here's the master suite that I like to call with a really tiny clean bed and its own separate little closets got a nice little sink here and here's the fridge and uh, you guys are lucky you can't smell this but you know here's the bathroom stand-up shower all that so yeah typical RV stuff but uh, one tip I gotta give you guys, if you've never messed with an RV before and you go to dump out the black tank, which is the one where all the poop and the nasty stuff goes, wear gloves, always wear gloves. And this particular trailer's got this neat little setup. I can hook this hose up and inside there's these little sprayers inside the black tank that's supposed to break up the gunky stuff. And it kinda works, but yeah. And I suggest if you're doing this, get a really good drain hose. I had a cheap one break on me and it was not a fun day. Oh, you guys are so lucky you cannot smell this. for the fun part, getting that sucker back in there. Back into there. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, you like that one shot. One shot. Uh, as much as I'd love to take credit for that, that is not what happened. This is what happened. spot I uh, got the generator started all I needed to do was adjust the choke uh, I got the propane tanks filled up furnace is working I got the fuel tank filled up for it uh, didn't get any stabilizer but I need to and I'll probably do that tomorrow but uh, yeah everything's kick-ass with this so if we have a rough winter this week this year which we're supposed to and I lose power in my house I can stay in this thing and stay nice and warm because I'm a whiny little prissy bitch like that. But anyway, getting that generator on the trailer running reminded me that I need to get this little guy running because this one will power my refrigerators and whatnot if the power goes out. So I need to get working on this one. That's going to call it for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you next time.